Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Learn English Video Podcast, where you will build your vocabulary and improve your listening skills. My name is Neil Humphrey, and in today's video, we are going to talk about choosing a career. Now, in this episode, we are going to cover four topics. Number one, what is a career? Number two, choosing a career. Number three, we're going to talk about some statistics. And number four, we're going to talk about how to choose a career. So let's get started. Number one, so what is the definition of career? Well, here it is. Career is a noun. It is a job that you do regularly for most of your working life. Now let's talk about next how people choose their career. And I have here four examples. So number one, people choose their job or their career based off of compensation. So compensation just basically means how much money you are going to make at this job or this company. It basically refers to your salary. How much are you going to get in return for the work that you give to this company? Okay, number two, people choose their career based off of career advancement. So some companies, when you join big companies, you have the opportunity to rise through the ranks. That means you have the opportunity to start at one position and eventually reach another position. That is called career advancement. And usually when you start off at a big company, you start at the very bottom. That is called an entry level position. You start at an entry level position, but as your skills develop, you get to go higher and higher and higher. And usually the higher you go, the higher your compensation. Okay. So that's another reason how people choose their careers. Number three, People choose their careers based off of the independence, the freedom that they have. So for example, we're talking about a independent contractor. An independent contractor is basically a freelance worker who does a job based on a project. He might, he or she might have a job to paint a house. When they're finished painting that house, they're finished with that job. And they go on to the next one. They don't belong to one company. They set their own hours. They set their own rates. And they have they make a contract, uh, you know, between the person who is looking for their services. And when they're finished with that job, they go on to the next one. Okay? So people choose their careers based off of independence. Number four, people choose their career because they want to change something. They want to make a difference. So... I like to think about myself as a teacher. I became a teacher because I wanted to be a good role model for the next generation. I became a teacher because I wanted to change something. I wanted to improve the lives of my students. And that's why I became a teacher. But you can also, you know, use this example for people, let's say in politics, people become mayors and governors and you know, they want to work in high positions because they like law. They want to change the law. They want to make things better for their community or their state or even, you know, their entire country. So people get into uh, positions choosing their career because they want to change something. OK, now in this next slide, I found a, an article that I wanted to read to you. It's very interesting. I'm going to make this screen bigger so we can read it together. But here we go. It reads one survey from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is in the United States found that those born between 1957 and 1964 held an average of 12.4 jobs between the ages of 18 and 54. Data from a separate survey conducted in 2020 found that people now stay in each job for around four years. Now, I thought this was very interesting because when you think about the, 
the average American. The average American is taught after high school, you go to a college, you go to university, you you major in something. Major just means you focus on a specific area. Usually after university, you'll get something called a bachelor's degree. Okay. And let's say, for example, that bachelor's degree was in marketing. So you have this bachelor's degree, you go to a marketing agency, and the traditional route is you will stay at that job for the rest of your working life. But this data begs to differ. It says that people between, you know, uh, 1957 and 1964 held an average of 12 jobs between, you know, in their adult life. So just because you go to university and you major in something, it doesn't mean that you're going to have that same career for the rest of your life. You know, things change in our lives, our interests change, our lifestyles change. And because of that, we skip around and we find jobs, you know, maybe for five years, you want to be a painter. Next five years, you want to be a teacher. Next five years, you want to be a disc jockey, whatever it is, you know, people's interests always change. So the data proves that you don't always have to stay, you know, at your same job or have the same career for the rest of your working life. Okay. Now this next slide, I wanted to talk about how to choose a career. So before you choose a career, if maybe you're right now looking to change careers, how do you choose a career? Well, number one, ask yourself, what interests you? You know, what, what makes you excited? What do you get excited about? What interests you? What kind of things do you like? Okay. Do you like the challenge? Do you like a laid back job where you don't have to do too much? Do you like desk work? Do you like standing on your feet, moving around all day? You have to ask yourself, what interests you? Number two, what are your goals? Okay, when you think about a job, we talked about compensation. Some people want to make a lot of money, so they choose jobs based on uh, if they can get compensated very well. Okay, other people, like I said, you might want a more laid back job. Maybe you only want to work three times a week. You know, it's up to you. But what are your goals? And the last one, if you're unsure about what career to choose, should you do this, should you do that, before you make a decision, ask yourself, what are you good at? What am I good at? Am I good at making things? Am I good at designing things? Am I good at planning? Am I good at selling? Am I good at helping other people? What am I good at? Okay. Once you figure out what you're good at, that'll probably help you make your next career choice. All right, everyone. So that is it for today's video. If you like this video and you want to watch the next one, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make videos throughout the week. In our next video, we're going to talk about how to pronounce the TH sound correctly. Because I'm making this video because this topic, TH, is very difficult for people. And I'd like to help you with that. So our next episode is how to pronounce the TH sound. Again, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Okay, take care and talk to you soon. Peace.